Okay, so right now we are going to start a mock interview for our student CBS Satrita, and this mock is for uh, DRDO. So first of all, uh, you tell us about yourself. Yes, sir. As you know, I am Charity Venkatasai Hasrika. I came from Nellu district, Andhra Pradesh. I completed my schooling from Ratnam English Medium School. Graduation from Kesho Memorial Institute of Technology in Electronics and Communication Engineering in, in the year 2021. And I worked for an year in Tata Consultancy Services and I have resigned in order to focus my preparation for GATE and other PSU exams. So when did you resign? So last year, 2022, so August. Okay. So did you appear for any interview up to now? Uh, yes, sir. Um, uh, private company interviews and also I've attended Intelligence Bureau a technical interview for assistant central intelligence officer. So what career objective you have made for yourself? Yes, sir. Uh, actually, I wanted to work in a public sector units or a government organization so that it provides me a good working environment and a challenging opportunity. Okay, so you just want to get a job uh, any in any PSU or you have a specific uh, regions to join DRDO? Yes, sir. So my, my first preference is to work in a government organization and DRDO is the best. I mean, it's a very good organization which is working under Ministry of Defense. I would be very happy to work in such an organization and I, I, I feel privileged to work as it is developing projects on technological developments to Indian Armed Forces. So is Defense Minister in India? Um, Rajnath, Rajnath Singh, sir. If, I, if I'm wrong, please excuse me. Is he MP or MLA? It's, he's an M MP. MP from Member where? Parliament. Sir? Which constituency? Sir, I'm sorry, I don't know about. Okay, nice. So, what uh, subjects you have prepared for this interview? Yes, sir. Uh, I, I've prepared communication systems, control systems, network theory, and digital communications. Digital communication. Sorry, sir, digital electronics. I, I've prepared communications both analog as well as digital. Okay. So do you know half header in digital electronics? What is half header? Yes, sir. So draw half header logic symbol? Yes, sir. Can I draw it in a pen and use yeah. the paper? Can I show it to the camera? Okay, so you have made a half header, right? Yes, so sir. So what is the expression for S? Uh, it is A, X or B, sir. Okay. Uh, can you, suppose I need decoder. I need a decoder, okay. So can you justify that this circuit can be used as a decoder in some sense? Can I say this circuit as a decoder? Or if I want to show that it is a decoder of certain situation, certain kind, so how we can do it? Then? Yes, sir. It can be used as a one is to two, two is to four decoder, sir. Two inputs and we can get four outputs. So as the output of the decoder is a, a combination like a, a bar dot B bar, A, B bar, a bar B and A B as it can produce A B as well as A X or B is a combination of A B bar and A bar plus A bar B. So we can um, get a few combinations of a decoder from the circuit. So which code can be decoded easily by this? So 
if we call it as a decoder so it can decode one particular code so which code can be decoded easily by this circuit uh, it is and and gates are a dot b okay so which code we can decode sir i'm not getting it like in code in the sense in input what we apply uh we apply some code or not yes sir basically we are giving two inputs a and b so is a one bit making some code or not yes sir one uh, yes sir one bit uh, one bit and one bit data from each one which code which binary code can be decoded by this circuit tell me uh, one and one sir from one and one we can... okay uh can we have three input xor circuit can you make three input xor gate uh yes sir make it uh sir so using a single xor gate or yeah, using single xor gate you use and open the circuit okay so can we uh, implement this circuit uh, using one multiplexer sir it depends on the uh, size of the multiplexer sir yeah so i want to use only one multiplexer nothing else okay sir so i want to make this circuit using multiplexer so how will we do it so it can be done by using um, sure. it is to one multiplexer using three selection lines in which a b c can be given as a selection line so and can you write the two stable of xor operation for three inputs yes sir so how do we decide the output so if we have if you are having odd number of ones the output is one if you are having even number of ones output is zero okay write down a plus b bar c so a plus a plus b bar c can i know c is used for a plus b a or a plus b bar into c okay, three variables are there okay sir so realize this circuit using only nand gates two input nand gates Thank you. 
Can I show you? Yes. So what are the different inputs? A, B, C, so. You have not done leveling. Uh, yes, sir. Can I do it? Yes. Yeah. Can you Yeah. B C B bar C bar okay A bar. Okay. Uh, now make this circuit. Tell me about this circuit. What do you know about this circuit? What is this? Sir, it is a phase lead compensator. It can be used as a phase lead compensator. Phase lead compensator, kya hota hai? what is that? Uh, so it's a, it's a basically a compensator circuit, which is used to improve transient behavior, transient behavior of the circuit. And it can also be used as a high pass filter so that bandwidth can be increased. But due to the increased bandwidth, there will be an effect of noise. So SNR ratio gets decreased. But as a compensator, we are adding a pole as well as a zero due to the effect so of zero. Can you drive the transfer function of this? Uh, yes, sir. Okay. What is the transfer function? Tell me. Uh, so can I tell it in terms of alpha and tau and then I can tell the values of No, alpha. no. Derive using this okay. circuit. Yes, sir. So let me know if it is visible or not. So what you are getting R1? R1 into 1 plus SC R1 divided by R1. Okay. Yes, sir. Divide by R2 into 1 plus SC R1 plus R1. So it again. R1 is separate or within bracket in the denominator? No, sir, it's separate. Okay. So what about time constant? Can you calculate the time constant also here? Uh, yes, sir. It is R1 into C. Okay. Okay, Kalas, sir. You can continue. Uh, hello. Hello, sir. Good evening, sir. Good evening. I'm audible. 
Uh, yes, sir. Okay, tell me, uh, have you done any project during BTEC bachelor's? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, I've done a final year project on software defined radio. On software? Defined radio, sir. Okay, can you describe me what is basically SDR and how does it work? Tell me, uh, Yes, sir. Um, using a software defined radio, we are creating a radio using a software which even help. I mean, we are doing modulation using a software. The software that we are using here is a GNU radio companion and it also works on a hardware which is HackRF1 receiver. So basically using this SDR, we are we can perform different types of modulations and demodulations using a single um, software plus hard, hardware component. Um, and uh, here we are using a software module which is called GNU Radio Companion and a hardware HackRF1 receiver. So basically, all the modulation that we are doing is in the GNU Radio Companion. It okay, is tell, a, me, tell me in brief, what is the advantage of using SDR technology over the traditional radio system? Yes, That's sir. Brief. So using SDR, we can perform encryption as well as decryption, decryption and we can perform different types of modulation like AM modulation, FM modulation, everything in a single uh, software com hardware component so that Hardware. What will be ultimate advantage? Tell me, I'm not asking what are the, what will be ultimate advantage as a user. What as a user? I'm asking as a user what advantage I will get. I'm not asking as a designer. Uh, that's it, sir. Like we can perform uh, encryption as well as decryption. As uh, a user, how it's beneficial for me? Okay, can you tell me how does SDR technology impact the field of wireless communication? Uh, so, um, uh, it is actually emerging technology. It mm. is mostly used in a uh, military so that like using the same thing, using the same component, we can perform different modulation. So, it is mostly used in a military. Okay. So, using SDR, can we implement all the radio function or there are some specific type of the radio function that can be implemented? Yes, sir. Mostly we can perform. There is a specific uh, functionalities that are predefined in the software. If we wanted to implement any new so I mean new types of radio functionalities, they, we have to write a code in Python language, sir. You have done this project at your own? No, oh. sir. It was a teamwork. So what was your role in that? Uh, so uh, I was mostly working on uh, GNU radio companion parts, uh, which is an open source software. I I have worked like it's a as it's a predefined software, um, it just have a set of blocks. So um, just implementation in a software part. So. so that implementation you can get easily from the GitHub and all. Hmm? Am I right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> what was your contribution? Tell me that. Okay, my last question to your project is, you have used hack rf1 module right yes sir so why did you choose this one uh, yes sir uh, it is a, a half duplex trans receiver it has a wide range of it can accept wide range of frequencies sir it can accept from 1 gigahertz 3 gig, sorry 3 megahertz range to 6, meg, 6 gigahertz range but i don't think uh, what's your name uh, what's your name venkat sai hastrika sir so Rashida, you were not able to do complete justice with your project question. So I suggest you prepare again. Okay. I will uh, share some list of the question with you. Okay. Okay, sir. After this WhatsApp me, I guess you have yesterday connected to me also. So yes, after sir. this session, connect me, send hi. I will send some list. Okay. Yes, At sir. Least prepare those questions, right? Okay, sir. Okay. You are interested also in communication, right? Sir. Uh, you have studied communication, right? Yes, sir. So when communication is a very wide communication, analog communication, digital communication, which part of the communication you are more, you know, good with? Um, so I'm good with both of the analog as well as digital. You're good with both in all sense or in the gates levels only? Uh, so, so in the gates sense, I can tell you. The gates levels only. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Have you listened to the term data compression in communication system? Mm. Yes, sir. What is the data compression? Can you define? Sir, it is used to decrease the redundant data that is present in the uh, digit, in the 
encoded parts here. Are you sure? Uh, I'm guessing it's sir. I'm not hundred percent. Okay, fine. Have you uh, listened that term like with sampling theorem? Yes, sir. What is it? Um, for a band limited signal which is having highest message signal frequency as FM, um, the if we perform modulation as well as demodulation, but if we are sampling with the frequency, sampling frequency is greater than two times that of highest message signal frequency, only then we can get back the original message signal without any distortion or with any noise interference. Uh, so it is FS has to be greater than two times that of highest message signal frequency. So this theorem as well applicable for the band pass signal or baseband signal only? So it is a baseband signal. So in case suppose I have a band pass signal, then what you will do? Uh, is there any such kind of condition for that also, or you know these yes, kind of for a, for the baseband? Uh, yes, sir. For a, a band pass signal, the condition is two times that of FH divided by K where k is the nearest integer which is not greater than fh divided by fh minus fl where fh is the highest frequency component and fl is the lowest frequency component of a band pass signal so do you know can you explain me why for band pass the, the condition is different whatever you told me twice of fh upon k and k is some integer can you tell me why how it comes can you prove me this the derivation, I am not aware of it, sir. So this is a universal relation or it's a driven, it's a, you know, we have derived it under some assumptions. Okay, I don't want to, you to waste time on the derivation. Okay, tell me, this result is universal or it is applicable only under certain assumptions? Sir, I'm guessing it, I'm not sure, but there might be some assumptions, sir, but I'm not sure. So you're guessing this, then obviously I can expect that you don't know those assumptions, right? Yes, sir. All right. Okay, fine. So, have you studied impulse response? Uh, yes, sir. What is impulse? How you define impulse response? So, uh, impulse response is the output of the system when the input is impulse. Mm -hmm. So, the response we get uh, when the input that is given as impulse, we, we call it as an impulse response. Okay, have you studied sample and whole circuit or zero whole circuit, zero order whole circuit? Have you studied this stuff? Uh, sampler and whole circuit, yes, sir. Yeah, either zero whole circuit, zero order whole circuit. Have you studied? Uh, zero order whole circuit, I'm not sure, sir. Okay, and do you have some copy pen? Uh, yes, sir. Okay, take your copy and pen. Take one signal X of T. Right? Yes, that signal I am passing through a delay system with delay of t second. Yes, okay. And the same signal is directly going. Both signal I am providing to some summer. One summer is there, right? Adder is there, okay? Okay, sir. The signal xt itself is directly coming to summer with positive sign, and the signal with delay is coming with the negative sign, right? Okay, sir. The output of that adder is going to integrator. Yes, show me the circuit. What you do? Show me the diagram. What you do? Perfect, perfect, perfect. Right, both are XT. Okay. okay. Calculate the impulse response of the system. Got it? Okay. Just it is um, U of T minus U of T minus tau. Show me graphically. 
Show me graphically. How you draw okay, the okay, graphically? Okay, graphically. Okay. Sorry. Okay, now tell me what do, uh, you told me that I know a bit about sample and force circuit, right? You told me in the beginning. Now, yes, can sir. you explain what do you know about the sample and force circuit? So, using this one or normally? I'm generally asking. You told me in the beginning, now you know about yes, sample sir. and now explain the definition of sample and force circuit. So, sample and whole circuit. So, whenever in switch is, I mean, it contains a switch as well as a capacitor. Whenever a switch is on, so capacitor starts charging and the value of input is taken at the output. Whenever switch is off, the capacitor holds its value and the same output remains at the output. So now next question I ask you, do you know zero order hold circuit? Don't you think whatever output you draw, this is the zero order hold circuit output. It is holding the sample at zero. Yes, sir. It, I, I am not sure about it, but it is having, it is holding the value from zero to T, sir. Can you can it work as a zero order hold circuit or not? Yes, sir. It can work as a as hey, a... what's your name? What is your name? Uh, Venkata Sai Hastrita, sir. Venkata Sai see in DIDO, they're not going to ask you question like one from here, one from here. They will grill you on one topic only. Okay. That's why I intentionally asked this one question and uh, I never I didn't move ahead. I ask you to instead find the you know problem, find the impulse response. I wanted in the later you realize that okay, sir, this is the thing basically you were asking. So basically, these kind of the mindset you need to maintain there, right? Okay. So I was not uh, satisfied with your performance of project. In project, you were not sure about most of the thing and you were doing a lot of bluff, right? Okay. okay. And second thing, if you're saying that communication is your, uh, you know, good domain, then I ask you which communication, analog, digital, then, you know, you can expect question from what is half duplex, full duplex, what is data compression, right? What is synchronous or synchronous communication? You can't restrict then only up to the communication which you have studied for the gate because they don't have the gate syllabus, right? Okay. okay. If you're climbing some subject, they can go up to any level, right? So ultimately their purpose is to filter the you know best of best, right? Yes, for that they can replace any of the you know topic of that communication for me you need a bit of improvement right and second thing the way you answer that is quite good okay if you know then fine you tell if you don't know then you confess sir i don't know i'm not sure about that's a good thing right okay. as of course this is from my side right okay. jackie sir you can continue with your feedback please yeah harshita uh, you answered questions correctly almost so in digital, it's okay. In control system also, uh, you have to revise all the things and uh, you identify the circuit. So from my side, it is positive, but project is very, very important. Yes, okay. said. So work on that okay. and revise all important subjects, which you will mention there again. Okay. Okay. Way of answering is okay. Confidence level is okay. Everything is right. The only thing is content, content. So improve more content, right? Okay, sir. Okay, all the best. Thank you, sir.